Hi, you're very welcome. You're here with Anne Walsh of the Excel Expert. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually create a mail shot or mail merge from a list of names and addresses that you have already created in Excel. <clears throat> okay, in the previous video, um, I just showed you how you could do an email shot. Um, in this video, what I'm just going to look at is how you, let's say, you use these names and addresses just to create it. So again, just notice how the list is set up straightforward title first name surname and so on and once i've set up my list like so my next step is i go back into my word microsoft word and i'm going to first of all just begin by creating my letter now i'm just leaving some space here because this is where i want to add my name and address i'm leaving that blank as well um we would like to invite you to our next event in September. All right. So if you already had a preset letter that you'd use, you could open it up at this point. Okay. Next step then, back up here we go to our mailings. I choose Start Mail Merge and this time I'm going to choose Letters. All right. And it comes up here. Next step then is to choose my recipients. So I choose this one, Select Recipients. And I choose the second one from the list, Use Existing List. So I go back up here, navigate up to where I have my data set up. And just to say, it, it might be a good idea just to even just experiment with the this file um, before you actually try it on your own, um, you know, data. Because, I mean, then it kind of at least you know then that it's, you can try it out and it's kind of a safe place to try it out. And I click OK. Now, the next step then is that we need to link the letter and the list. And the way we do that is via what's called our merge fields. So see up here, it says insert merge field. And I just go to go to title. So that's going to be Mr. or Mrs. and then first name, and third merge field, our surname. Right. And then I'm also going to insert my other field names here, so let's say postcode, and in this case county. Now just kind of a tip to you when you're creating lists, try and kind of actually separate out items. Don't, so you'd have, um, you know, if you have counties or if you have areas, put those in under separate headings because it just makes it much, much easier for you to target those specifically. All right, and then I put down dear, say title, leave a space between the two of them, and surname. Right. Now, once I've actually created this letter, I can just have a quick look at preview results. All right, you can see there I can appear to go up this one, and then just knock it off. Um, just to say as well that if in fact it's a case that you decide that you're going to you know you want to reuse this letter and so on and um, what you could do at this point is just save the letter just in this format before you do the merge and then, only, then all you have to do is go back and call up this letter and um, it'll automatically look for the new lists that you have in Excel so if you want to kind of do a mail merge again but with more people that you've added to the list and the last step then is just go to finish and merge now um, as I regularly say to people when I'm teaching this in class you can theoretically send it to the printer, but technology being what it is, I would strongly suggest that you go to the first option, which is edit individual documents. And I go to go to all and then I click OK. Right. Now I now have my letters and if you see down here, I have a hundred of them. Right. So it's created a hundred separate mailings for all my letters here. Right. And that essentially is my mail merge ready to go, ready to be printed. Now then you can save it at this point, which means it will be saved in this particular format. Um, and all you need to do is just print it out then at this point. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. Um, take care. Grama Hagat